Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. In a big old wide world of Earth. My name's Jade and this is How to App on iOS, uh, episode 50, uh, 57? <laughs> Far out. 87, man. It's definitely not 57. Feels like a million and seven. But anyway, here we are. Another day. Another day towards the end of Songtember. I hope everybody's doing well. If you're watching on the replay, hello to you. Uh, if you're here in the live chat, hi, Langston Reese, Gary Hubs, Dr. Zorders, and Benedict Stewart. How do you do? I hope you're all doing well. What are we going to do today? We're going to be looking at Bandcamp today, but uh, we're going to go over. A, going to just jog over my songs just to let you know what's going on with my song timbre ep before we get into all that so probably take up the first 10 minutes so if you want to skip ahead and don't want to hear the music you feel free to do that because we're probably going to waste about 10 minutes time on that first we're going to just do the usual and open up app slice to see what's new in the old price drops there's nothing really much except for an app that i did a review on uh way back maybe about four weeks ago Wavestorm, uh, so it's a wavetable synth. So that's dropped in price to seven ninety nine US. It does have in-app purchases as well, so be mindful of that. But two bucks off, it's a fantastic amp. And it is Bandcamp Day. Yes, it is indeed, Rick Lisk. I hope you are doing well. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you know where I'm up to with my uh, Song Timber EP because. Not many days to go, folks. Not many days to go. And um, I had a massive day yesterday uh, working on the music. So I could be ready for today just to do vocals. So I've been writing lyrics and all that kind of stuff. Um, all good there. What I'm going to show you today is just the three songs, where they're at with all the music. So what I've done with them too, it's a very light mix in Aurea Pro. Um, what I did, just to let you know too, with each song... I the the original song the first song that I did on this EP I then copied into a, a duplicate project and then removed everything but kept all the settings so when I bought all the drums in from GarageBand the drums had the exact same sound as the last song and then I did the same for the third song so I'm trying to keep a very consistent sound all the way throughout the three songs of the guitar tones and the drum sound so basically I haven't even touched any of the levels across all three songs for the drums so just to let you know what I have done I'm going to use audio share today um, so the last one I worked on yesterday and you know, there's probably some little bits I'm going to play with is Idiocracy. It's the second song on the EP. This was the mix down. So you can see there's a bit of space there at the end on this track. Um, but you can see that's a fairly consistent sausage for a metal song. Plenty of room there for mastering. So I definitely have left plenty of room there for mastering. And then I ran it through a quick master. And um, this is the wav after a master. So that was a very rough master, and I'll tell you, that master took about, uh, let's see, two minutes to do, and I'm going to show you how I did it right now. Let's just jump straight in before I play the songs. I'm going to open up. This is how quick I, I mastered this song. I'd done a light master a couple of times during the week, so I kind of knew what I was looking for just to get an idea. So I'm going to open up um, Final Touch, and the track's already in here, as you can see. Um, and all my settings are already there, but let's, can I reset them? Let's reset. I wonder if I just do this, uh, duh, 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 duh. well divided and go back to idiocracy and it keeps the settings. I'm not used to that. How about we do this? We'll go over here. We'll go back to this original mix. We'll do a duplicate. Um, can I do a duplicate? Where do I do that? I haven't done a duplicate in here. Um, ah, here. Um, general, I think so. Is this how you do a duplicate? I haven't even done one of these before. Um, oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's just import a new one. It'll import it as a new name, I think, anyway. So there we go. There we've got a flat board. So this is what you get. So it, it automatically adds a pre-EQ, dynamics, and a maximizer. So when I play this... Uh, 
okay, without even listening to it, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I did these masters. So I grabbed my in straight down to about halfway. I pulled my threshold to about halfway. Straight over to stereo imaging, pull, add that into the mix. Then I'm going to take my left pan to about roughly 30. Right pan to about 30. See, they're pretty close, so 0.2 off. Doesn't really matter, mate, whatever. Then I'm going to grab this gain here, this um, pre-EQ. I'm going to take number one here, and I'm going to pull out the mids, uh, the, the bass, to about 50 there. I'm going to take this last one. I'm going to bring this all the way up here. I know you're thinking, what the fuck are you doing? Um, and then I'm going to bring this up a little and this down a little. Now you notice I haven't even listened to this yet. Um, dynamics, I'm going to give a touch up there. That's about it. And I'm going to bring the ratio to about 2.6. That's about it. Let's have a, let's turn off and have a listen to it. So it's going to be lower, of course. When I play this, this is with. Now I'm going to turn on the um, the actual presets. So you can see over here, we're getting up into the red a bit. So what I'm going to do is just grab this and touch down. And that is, and then if I do a send, audio share, 24 bits, wave export. So hardly any compression, um, a bit of stereo widening, a lot of limiting and just a a pre-EQ and let's see the difference of what it's done. Is there any, is it peaking out? So it's, it's a bit loud, but here's the beauty of digital recording. I can just delete that, hit straight back over. Let's hit play again. It's probably a bit better. let's do that so as i said this is just a light master and look mastering isn't people get freaked out about mastering and stress about it it's it's not like it's not something you have to sit there and, and put hours of work into you just have to bring up the levels and bring some consistent consistency in it do some widening if you really want to and change the acute and look at that it's fine so let's listen to the original so here's the original compared to that mix. Nothing exciting, but that's just so I can get an idea of how, how much space I have and just to give it a bit more body for me to actually put some lyrics over and listen to it for the whole day, which I did yesterday. But let's have a look at listen to that song. Now the mic, the master I did yesterday, and there it is. So I'm going to play it through. I might sing over the top of it a bit for you. I'll run through all the other two songs as well, and then we'll jump into Bandcamp, if that's all good by you guys. Let's give it a go. So this is called um, Idiocracy, and it is about the rise of the fucking stupid people on this planet who will believe anything you tell them. Like, you know, lizard people run the world, and, and you know, COVID-19 COVID is not real. Anyway, let's go.
There's no other way It's time to cleanse the world Of all the fucking stupid The rise of idiots Deserve no more time for me anyway yeah. Shut your mouth and get into the oven City of the It's time to cleanse the world of all the fucking stupid All of the ignorance won't cut it anymore The rise of idiots deserve nothing Just do your research into every goddamn stupid conspiracy Yeah, get into the oven So that's that one. Um, and I'm just doing this as well to uh, run through some vocals to see what, what flies and stuff. Because it's only early here, so I'm not really singing loud or anything like that. And um, so this is a World Divided. This is the open. Uh, this is the final track on the album. So I've got a whole bunch of... Um, and for that last song too, there's a whole bunch of... Um, I've, I've got a whole lot of um, quotes and stuff from a whole bunch of conspiracy videos from YouTube of people like talking about chemtrails and lizard people and the moon not being real and all this shit and they all just talk over the top of each other at the start of the song so that's the intro of that song this one has kind of like a whole, a whole lot of um, samples through it too of like uh, crowds rioting with uh, like a air siren going off in the choruses so they'll be added last I've got all those samples ready to go uh, so this is a world divided it is the title track and as you can see here this was the original mix down and here's the light master that i did still plenty of room but to really make this a sausage for a metal song but take into account too the reason i made that quick master before and showed you and did it the way i did it there's no vocals on this so i really don't want to like com totally compress it and kill it yet i still want to you know for this want to keep some some range and, and variation in this actual riff. So this is World Divide Dead.
Anyways, uh, see you later, Tom. You have a good day, man. So we'll go through the last one just for fun because I haven't really sung this one for a while. Um, and this is No More Lies. So it's the opening track off the album. Uh, where are we? No More Lies converted to this one. Have fun. Then we'll look at some band camp. So what I'm doing with the vocals today is I'll be singing all the singing parts earlier on. So probably in about four hours time, once all the singing parts are done, I'll be taking a break for about four hours and then coming back and doing about an hour worth of growls and then coming and then taking another break for an hour or so and coming back and then doing another hour of growls to wrap them all up. So I don't strain the shit out of my voice. 
it's most important to get all the singing parts down first before all the growling parts because growling parts you can just tear the shit out of yourself at the end and um, there'll probably be a lot of copy and pasting because there'll be three-part harmonies for a lot of those growls and about two-part harmonies for the singing bits and that's about it so let's jump into what we're talking about today which is so just to wrap up there i hope i'm finished i'm going to try and the deal is um tomorrow hopefully we'll be looking at uh, this midi strummer app and then on friday's show will be me running through the mastering of this but i hopefully will have already uploaded the tracks to distro kids so they'll be in the process but then I'll run through exactly how I mastered the L, the EP. And we are looking at Bandcamp today. So if you don't know what Bandcamp is, it's bandcamp.com. That is the place to go to check this shit out. And it's pretty cool, man. So and let's run through the reasons why you would use Bandcamp. Firstly, you can use Bandcamp as well as digital distribution labels because you can add links from Bandcamp to your digital distribution stuff like Apple Music, Spotify, and everywhere else that it goes through if you use someone like DistroKid or Amuse or anything like that. But where Bandcamp um, accelerates for independent artists is where Apple can be quite cruel. Now, in Pete's video just a short while ago, I posted a link to this. This is Apple's style guide, the Apple Music Style Guide 2.16 with their overall of music is an emotional experience and for many of us an obsession hearing the right song at the right moment fuck off i really don't need to be told by apple what music means to me because there's enough in here of just pedantic shit that apple makes you dance around to do around the capitalization of letters when you're creating a track and hebrew letters and first name all this kind of stuff so let's artist names examples of artist names now this is stuff we don't have to deal with because we go through digital distribution like DistroKid or amuse or things like that um but this is what they're up against when they get our music uploaded like pete showed you across on studio live today about 20 30 minutes ago we just fill in all those blanks and put them through and then DistroKid has to send them to apple and deal with all this shit that Apple puts on them as them taking on board as a, a distribution. So, I mean, the more you go through this, there's a lot of rules and regulations. Now, let's say, for example, you're a death metal band and you create content that has extreme artwork and stuff like that, which, you know, Cannibal Corpse, heaps of massive death metal bands, heaps of hip hop bands use uh, swearing or could use a front cover of their album, you know, with a cop on the ground and a gun to the cop's head. Apple ain't going to allow you to do stuff. I've even had situations where I released um, my my utensils album, my one of the um, little EP things I did, and they rejected my artwork because it had in the artwork logos of other companies that they deemed as competitors to them so which really fucked with my album because my album the whole album is about like um, the human brain being stamped with uh, like on the album cover it says human brain on a plate being stamped with all these major companies logos like amazon and all this shit it's making a statement it's my artistic fucking concept for the whole fucking album but apple comes back to DistroKid and says oh you can't upload this because it has a logo from amazon it has a logo from google and it's a competitor and it's like but what about my artistic fucking in integrity my freedom to release something no sorry fuck you so i basically to get around it and it's only me who knows about this now i had to take i left them in there of course i left all those images in there but i made them so transparent that you can barely see them and i tried that the first time and uploaded it to apple and they rejected it again because they could just see the logos so i so in my mind they're still in the image but they're transparent so that's how i had to get around it so this is another reason why people go to things like bandcamp because there's no censorship that's what's beautiful about bandcamp absolutely no censorship and as you'll see by um, some of the music that i've put up on um, my band camp as well that I've been able to put artwork which Apple kept kept refusing for me for my band FMC another reason 
Bandcamp is fantastic for audio files. So if you're really into high quality audio, this is the place to go to upload your music and join to download people's music because when you buy music from Bandcamp, you get the option to download it in MP3, M4A, in a full WAV file, AIF, you can get the highest quality. So you pay the price of an artist and you get all these options to download and save to your computer at the highest quality. So if you're an audiophile and you want you know, the absolute utmost quality instead of paying for something on Apple and just getting like you know, an M4A, this is the place to go. So you've got a lot of audio files going here as well. So this is your front page that you get and it's much like any kind of um, dis distribution page. You know, you've got artists that they're um, spotlighting. Um, down here, as you scroll down, you've got like a discover section. This is really cool too. So as you can see, I've already pre-selected metal here and you get all these options like hardcore, black metal, death metal, thrash metal. So you get all these different options to, to search for music. So somebody, and, and you can see them changing along the bottom here. So grindcore, clearly this is going to be full on grindcore stuff and uh, compared to progressive metal. So you can really like, you know, find exactly what you want, nice and easy. And the thing is, I use Bandcamp more so not really for the distribution, as you'll see by my sales on here, because I don't really, I haven't spent a lot of time on Bandcamp over the last few months. I've let it just die for a bit because I've been busy doing this show and other things. So I haven't really been pushing it anywhere to get many downloads. Um, but what you can also do with uh, this, so you can uh, actually on your band pages, you can put down other artists that inspire you and link to your favorite artists on, on here as well. And I use Bandcamp more than anything, more than just for distro to find new cool music because i find going on things like apple and spotify i don't ever really find a lot of cool undiscovered music but on here the amount of unbelievable metal bands i found on here and i'm sure it's like that across all the board of you know punk i'm sure the amount of punk bands on here if you think about metal and extreme metal for the amount of like new punk that is out here like alternative extreme punk like i'm sure like even something like this cover I could look at this. This is probably something Apple would reject just because it's got somebody with a gun. You know, this is, it's, it's can be so full on on Apple with their like censorship, but you know, that's how they operate. So there are two parts of Bandcamp as well. So you've got the Bandcamp as a member who's interested in listening to music and that's how you sign up. And then once you sign up as a member to download other people's music, then you can add artists on top of that. So it's kind of separated into two areas. Um, so as you'll see up the top here, if I zoom in, so you can see my little logo up the top here, because I'm logged in. When I click on that, I get these options here. So I've got my Jade Star Dread Circus, because I've got four, four artists on here, four different bands. So my main music, Dread Circus, FMC, Utensils, and despised um, as we look down the list whoops disappeared there so you can edit your profile you've got some tools for marketing and stuff basic page uh, design so your colors and margins and stuff like that uh, subscriptions music that you have subscribed to and that you've paid for um, oh, sorry uh, that you subscribe to then music that you own in your uh, collection so purchases collection God, I've got to get, catch up. And then you've got your linked account. So I can click on this and choose between my linked accounts. So let's just jump into a profile and um, show you what they look like. And you can change the color of each one. You'll notice all mine are completely different. So you get a splash screen um, when you, and I guess why I like this too, it, um, this more than anything reminds me of the closest thing to MySpace without the gaudy chats and weird flashing gifs and stuff because you can curate your page to look like the, the colors and everything that you want. You got a splash screen here with a simple photo that you want to choose for yourself. Over here, you get to add like a, a blurb about yourself and they don't give you many words. They, they like to keep it nice and simple and tight and fresh and that's really good. You don't want like things that are super cluttered. If you saw my show last week on Reverb Nation, 
you probably tell there's so much like you know th they're throwing at you all this like sign up here and we'll send you music to these it's it kind of destroys the experience um now down here you can add your own links so you know i've got links to my website my reverb nation facebook twitter music on apple contact streaming and download help all that kind of stuff and then when you click on one of your releases like i'll go to my last major album so i just click on that it takes you to the album page you can create your own banners for the top like you'll find see all of mine have all my bands have their own banner up the top let's just get rid of this yeah i got it dude i've been using you for years mate um you can choose a song to be the top song up here that people will see straight away you get a song list of everything there the beautiful thing is there's no like 13 second preview you can listen to all these songs straight away you can just hit play and you're off bang like that and we're going So that's really cool yeah as you remember as i said so it's a digital album you can see here um you get to stream it once you pay for it and you can download it to your hard drive to wherever you want and it includes unlimited streaming via the bandcamp app so there's a standalone bandcamp app just for the music that you buy and there's also a bandcamp app for this so you can manage so you can check your stats of people listening to your song how many plays how many purchases and you can send uh, mail out so you get fans on here as well and you can also send out an email to anybody who's on your fan list as well so that's really cool you can send a gift so you can choose the price of what you're selling as well so you can choose how much from anything to zero you can give your stuff away for nothing you can choose options like make an offer so people can make an offer whatever they want but they can make an offer of like past two dollars or more or they can make an offer from zero or more so you've got plenty of flexibility with exactly how much you want to charge for your music okay you definitely have merch as well emo bot uh, so there's merch links things like that you can but we'll get into that a little bit more um, so as you can see here what i've done you can also set up a discography so i've put all of my albums all into one discography and you can get all four of them saving 25 percent. so you can decide a percentage that people get all of the recordings on your page at a how much discount to you know inspire people to buy all of your music so that is a fantastic thing as well and look down here you can create your own everything is very basic as well so you know you write your own little blurb there you get a couple of boxes to fill in these spaces when you edit so if i just let's have a look at the edit screen so if i hit edit up here maybe and you can all do this on your your ipad your ios device or whatever you want okay so this isn't like a computer thing so you've got all these boxes to add your tracks you can add your um upc codes for like if you've uploaded the song already to something like distro kid so you, every time it's played you're still getting money for playback so you can make sure it's all connected through here and you select your payout how you want to get paid and all that stuff so it's very easy to put together a band page like this um, as you can see down the bottom i've added like a couple of links myself to just email address and my website everything nice and simple to look at and normally your albums are down the side here so you can click between them singles so there's a single i did for wrestle talk ep very easy to get through all this stuff so i'll click over to one of my other artists here just to show you the difference how you can make your pages stand out from each other so this is fmc filthy maggoty <laughs> and you can see i've created a whole different banner across the top here with um, a cavalcade of filthy maggoty unts, um, like you know Jimmy Savile, <laughs> whole lot of awesome people here, all hanging out with a bunch of babies. Uh, the boofing guy, fuck yeah. Um, and just an example of um, like one of the songs I wanted to release through Apple was this song here, this uh, pure anal track. It's the Cosby Special Source remix single that I. Um, wanted to release on apple they refused to upload this artwork 
right? And I can see why. Look, it's pretty, it's pretty dark. You know, it's the pure anal Cosby special source remix. And if you look really closely at it, you can the obvious stuff. Like, so there's a chick on a bed. She's bleeding. She's obviously been roofied. There's a box of rehypnol on the table. And if you look really closely, there's a plate of food there. And you see the meatball? It's got Bill Cosby's face superimposed onto the meatball. <laughs> See, see, I think that's funny as fuck, right? But anyway, Apple were like, no, 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 and they kept rejecting it. So I tried to muse and they went, no, no, you can't do it either. So I came to Bandcamp and not a problem, baby. And I mean, the, the song is ridiculous too. It's a remix of one of the tracks that I've just... Um... <laughs> with some porn music <laughs> and it's got Patricia these <laughs> combines her love for music with her love for sex the truth yeah. is that when she springs into action she goes mad and is capable of doing it's like a hip hop version of the original what track what excites her the most is anal sex <laughs> that is feeling a huge cock in her ass makes her groan and scream with pleasure that it's possible to hear various kilometers away <laughs> Anyway, it's dark as shit, but you know, look, that, that, that's the thing. So, but you know, FMC, this is the funny thing about Apple, just while we're on the subject of, you know, um, uh, censorship, FMC, I have all the FMC stuff on Apple Music. Like, I've just put stars in between the, the magic C word. And, you know, there are songs of, by FMC, which uh, basically, uh, where are we? Go back here. So on the original FMC album, they have no problem letting me put titles like um, The Story of the Sadistic Seagull Fucker. So, you know, I would like to work with sanitary dispensers. So it's it's bizarre, Apple's whole logic. Oh, arse maggot. Like, there's arse maggot. So, I mean, that's all fine. That's all on the Apple uh, music thing. But of the artwork, so they'll let you sing about arse maggots, but they won't let you... <laughs> put anything kind of messed up even with uh this single here the human centipede conga line the original artwork had a whole bunch of people from the human centipede or with all their faces joined to each other's backsides from the actual movie that's all been distorted and stuff apple rejected it so i had to make this version of it with a cartoon of the conga line so but again this is one of the reasons why we have Bandcamp because you can get this extreme or alternative or the, the music that Apple just won't let you do up there. So let's jump into uh, another. So I want to give you an example of, you know, to see that the extreme stuff that still can get on, uh, that can get on Bandcamp. So this is my other band, Utensils. Again, whole different banner up the top there um, with uh, my logo of me and my BDSM mask. Um, all the albums here. So this is the last album I released. It all looks really nice. And all the songs are there. Easy to play. Again, all these are in a discography. I've made all the albums so you can buy it 25% off. So it's very easy to put together. Um, then you've got a dashboard up here. So I just clicked up here. And this is your dashboard. So you see here in the last like month, 30 days, I've, I've really pushed nothing on here. I've been too busy doing other things. So I've got, had no plays or anything like that. Normally I will be actually going and, and pushing this stuff when I'm in, when I'm on, on with it. But uh, this show's kind of taking control of everything. But you do get a breakdown of your stats for each month. So you get your plays and sales sources and then you can go into like whole years and all that kind of stuff so and you can even add like um if you pay there's a subscription i think you have to pay to be able to add a map to it where you see where people have like a seen where people have downloaded your music and it breaks it all down but there so there is a subscription but like if, you, if you're just uploading music for free you, seriously you don't need to subscribe for anything if you're looking at merch and things like that then i think that's where all the subscription kind of stuff comes in it's i'm not sure i really haven't had gone too much into that so if i make sure i'm not doing anything stupid here um so you can get your sales reports sent to you 
um, by CSV files. You can get them sent to you. You can um, you can actually get promo codes for yourself as well. So every I think it's what is it um, every month. I can't remember exactly now. That's really bad. I think it's every month they generate a bunch of codes for you and you can just apply for them. You get 200 codes to give away to people so they can download free versions of your albums. But if you want any more than the generated codes that you get, so I think you get 200 codes. So your account comes with 200 codes. If you need more, you can either buy them by clicking get more on the link below. Um, and yeah, so you can actually buy codes to give away, but uh, I think it's every month they click over to give you brand new codes to give away. So you've got campaign tracking, things like that, discount codes, a whole bunch of other option download credits. Uh, so I've got, as you can see here, I've got 200 remaining because I haven't used any of, I really haven't been on the page for a while. Um, anything else? So basic page design is very simple here. So just your color palette to set that your background and everything so that's all nice and easy as i uh, showed you before just briefly when you go into an album you've got a little edit button up up the top here uh, to edit your page add songs delete songs um, all that kind of stuff add your codes your uh, album artwork lyrics all that kind of thing um, yeah look i've had 200 codes for ages like i i, I give away something every now and again like i've given away some as prizes and stuff like that so i don't know i guess if you're making a lot of money those codes are really helpful i mean look that's a really great thing to be able to give to radio stations do radio stations exist anymore so look that's just a brief overview of this um and I, what i want to show you as well too now um we often talk about you would have heard about song whip um, so Song Whip, you can, let's just scoot over to Song Whip. You can create with Song Whip. There we go, Song Whip. You can, once you've released stuff um, through a digital distribution thing, like if I just do a search, create my own Jade Star Dread Circus. Um, now, if I just choose like my artist, it creates a page here and it gives you all these links to you know spotify youtube so all your music there show more it includes napster all this kind of stuff all your information kind of stuff like that but there's another one that i use and why i'm just going to tell you about it quickly is because i'm going to show you how what's good about it is you can include bandcamp into it so it's called song.io i'm sure that's what's uh, changed its name recent or oh, a few months ago um oh, damn where are we uh is that what it's called song i oh, i'm pretty sure it's something like that let's do a search for it it's not artist io why can't i think of what this old name was uh let's just go over here i'll remember in a second so this is my website um and what i've done with my website is when you actually go to look at albums so i'm just clicking on this little noise link over here this is where you get my albums at jadestar.com.au um, cool we're already there so when i click on an artist so we'll just click on like fmc or fmc for now it takes you to my band page i've got a preview thing which i use this is a um, something i've used from reverb nation or it's either that or um, SoundCloud. And when you scroll down, so I've got all the characters in the band, a bit about the band, photos, some news about the band. But when you scroll down to here, and it's got all the albums listed, underneath each of the albums here, you'll see there's all these links. And I can scroll across here with all these. So these are all the places you can download. As you'll see, you can add Bandcamp in here. So it's really cool. And I can't, why can't I think of what this bloody software is called? So it's album.link. There we go. <laughs> so this is, um, is that what it's called now? Album. Oh, it's called 
Odessa. Is that what it is? Odessa. Let's try that. Odessly. Is that what it is? Odessly. They changed the name recently. So it's very similar to um, Song Whip. And again, you can just do a search. So I can put in, um, if I put in utensils and then hit albums. So it brings up your albums and then you can click on it and it creates a link for you. And this is really cool because you can add extra stuff to this. So it, it auto populates all this kind of stuff in here. And it adds the, a clip from YouTube to it and everything like that. But if you sign up for an account with these guys, if you jump back to there, have I, am I signed in? I probably aren't signed in. So if you create an account through here, you can actually add Bandcamp. You can add merchandise and stuff like that. I'll just show you an example. Now we're getting off from Bandcamp, but it's all relevant because, you know, you want to pull all these things together to be able to market your stuff. If you're using stuff like Reverb Nation, Bandcamp, you've got all your stuff up digitally online, and then you have something like a web page. If you can pull them all together to get people to, you know, find a, a link from here. So here's, um, let's look at, so gender optimized album. There's all the information about the album. And underneath here, if you scroll across, I've even got, I've even been able to add Teespring to the end of it over here. So Bandcamp, uh, Bandcamp, iTunes, Napster, you can add everything into this. So this is what I've included with all my songs on my website. So that's why Bandcamp's really cool too. It's another alternative for people who don't want, because not everybody wants to use um, Spotify. Not everybody wants to use Apple Music. Remember that. You've got to try and cater to everybody. Um, and I've had people who bought my Dread Circus albums who refused to get them. They contacted me personally and said, I only want it on Bandcamp so I can get the full WAV version. So I've got the highest fidelity quality. How cool, whatever. All good. Um, with Bandcamp as well, so when you get paid out, um, if you sell stuff, you it, it basically just automatically goes into your PayPal account that you nominate and within a few days, it's in your account, in your PayPal account. It's that easy. It does it automatically. You can set it up like that to just automatically send the money across. Now, I haven't gone into things like setting up merchandise and stuff on Bandcamp because I really don't want to go too much into all the options and show you any of my personal information. <laughs> all right, just That's the reason for that because... Um, I just don't want you all have my phone number and all the, and all my all my bank details and all that shit that I have put in there. So oh, uh, my tax file number <laughs> that would suck as well. So that's a brief overview uh, uh, overview of Bandcamp. I hope you've got something out of this and you'll consider going and have a look at it because at the end of the day it's free man and you, you know you get to create your own little individual space you can link it all together to reverb nation all these other digital networks and it's only more options for people to download your music and you may as well do it in my opinion um as long as like ultimately this is why i've showed you my website too as long as you can piece it all together to find a central hub so people can find it all at one place that's a really good thing and i'm going to go into like uh do an episode probably in a couple of weeks on creating a website and if it is relevant to make a website these days because for a lot of people it isn't and it takes a lot of work to update a website i mean this thing's huge my website there's so much content on here it's ridiculous um you know there's videos albums there's so much content on here so we'll cover that as well but that's it for today i've rambled on enough i hope this has helped you if you're watching on the replay do the like and share and stuff or leave a comment and let me know um thank you for joining me i see we've got some late comers there russ good to see you as well and um sion hello 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 and i'm now going to depart for the day because i have an ep to finish and once again, I wish you all lots of good luck with your wrapping up your song timber stuff. If you've still got it going on, I'm still pushing it and hopefully I can do it. I'm ready to go, man. Let's do this shit. Um, but that is it for today. 
Thank you very much. Have a really good day. Good luck with your music. And stay gangsters. Stay rock and roll, folks. And keep doing the things that make you happy. Because that is the most important thing. And I will see you tomorrow for another stream. Bye-bye.